I found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Heralds. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates & Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constant's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald. Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Oh my gosh, be careful. The ground's super loose here. If we fall, we're going to seem like such idiots. We won't fall. We just need to get the police and be okay. And look at the gorgeous view. Ready, Pam? One, and... For more than two decades, New York based off of New York She's been living alone here for, what, six years? Ever since the scandal that ruined her career. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, senor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. Would you care for an aperitif? Thank you. So, you must know everything that goes on at the event. Care to give me the lowdown? Mm, let's see. Most of the guests have already arrived. And let me tell you, it's like a Forbes 500 convention in there. Most are high-profile clients of Morgan, Yates and Paul. But the Yates are still no shows. Word is, they're still up at the house. They haven't made an entrance yet. Curious. Any idea why? 
Well, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but word is that Yates was in a great mood this morning, but that all changed when the letter arrived. The letter? Yeah. An honest-to-God letter delivered by courier. I mean, who writes letters anymore? Anyway, it must have been bad news, because Senor Yates heard the plant off the balcony. Big everyone, too. It almost hit Isabel, one of the maids who had to go lie down. Oh. Anything else? The party is not the only thing happening at the estate. The winery is open for guests, too. You should check it out if you're interested in winemaking. It's harvest season, after all. I might just do that. Thank you for your time, miss. Right. Pleasant evening, senor. I didn't recognize you. Let me sign you. Corvo, got a message from the boss. Duty calls. Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Gates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take word with the bar of Here we have a Cabernet Sauvignon. May I recommend the house Cabernet Sauvignon? Fine vintage. Hmm. Strong aromatic notes, black currant and red cherries. On the palate, a trickle of sweet spice and savory plums. Yes, yeah, not bad. Senor is a connoisseur. I dabble. You would be scandalized, Senor, at just how many of the upper crust who only pretend to know why. Why, that ghastly former right-wing politician Tamara Vidal. She came in earlier and asked for a Pinot Noir. Oh, can you believe it? God, ours is a civilization in decline. A pleasure to serve you, Senor. Cabernet Sauvignon. As you know, this grape is known and grown the world over, but you should find that ours distinguish themselves. Now, I serve something far grander. I serve the land, and the land of Mendoza longs to make wine. I grew up here. These majestic plains were my playground, and returning here to pick up the mantle of my ancestors feels just incredibly profound. Our goal here is to get a game. Sorry, I... How can I help you? The 
Before you believe your own eyes, darling, are you trying to get the lesson? I am making a new addition. Diana Burnwood, former IC. Please consider her my representative. At your celebration, you're truly our Yes, we've been over this zone. Can you believe it? This is the woman who waged bloody war on Providence. She is involved in the deaths of countless heralds and operatives, including Ken, our friend Valentine. Is that with lost his faculties? This woman will surely be our downfall. This woman cleared his path to the top. Is it any wonder that he wants to keep her close? The partner, you don't think he... We must hear you again. Why don't you take a throne? The air will do you good. Yes. I suppose you're right. We'll figure this out, Don. You and I. We always do. This isn't going away, my love. It falls on me as constant to protect Providence against all threats, even his bad decisions. So let's treat this like a court. The say Burnwood is a material witness to the prosecution, and you need to get rid of her. Walk me through your strategy. Best course of action is blackmail. I've called in one of the firm's junior partners to dig up some dirt. If Burnwood has a weakness, we will find it. If not, then Corvo gets to earn his seven figures a year. Burnwood suffers an accident. Convincing, but not too convincing. And the blame falls on her rogue assassin with the whip. That might fool the heaven, but not the heaven. Yes, it is a crunch. How do you listen to the wrong way? Perhaps this is less about the witness and more about putting together just the right jury. What are you thinking? The Herald. You said so yourself. 
They lost plenty of colleagues to Burnwood and her cohort. I am sure they would agree to back your story with Edwards, if properly nudged. Uh, say, by a crackerjack trial lawyer with a knack for stirring monologues. This would even strengthen their fealty to you with Constance. Nothing commands loyalty like culpability. Yes, I like it. I like it profoundly. I will get right to work on my closing statement. Thank you, my love. I truly would be lost without you. And don't you forget it. excited about a church wedding, to be honest. I think she only agreed to it to keep the family happy. What's the alternative? A park? Her parents will break your neck, pibe, if you don't do it in a chapel oh, at least. But you think I don't know that? It'll be fine. We'll figure something out. Tell me you didn't forget yourself. Tell me you didn't forget yourself. Okay. I didn't forget the asado torch, Miguel. But you did, though. Didn't you, Pablo? I didn't lose. Why do you have to be such a baby all the time? Mr. Yates gave us away. What are we supposed to do? Let's head back to the party. I'm fine by the end. Just a little bit I'm sure someone would like to get this traditional. Not for any time. Just find another source. Don't care how. Or we'll allow you to stop. Yeah, yeah, sure. My mother prefers him now.
I take it Edwards told you to chaperone me. Any idea why? You know why. Trust is earned. Until Edwards is satisfied you're not sailing under a false flag, I will be his eyes and ears. I meant why you? I suppose I'm more perceptive than most. You're also very loyal. My guess is Edward's decision to make me a herald is not too popular with the other heralds. We were at war about five minutes ago. Some people are funny like that. But not you. I admire the craft, the audacity. Everyone said Providence was untouchable and along you came. The way I see it, you did us a service. That's cold. I like you more already. Touché. Diana Burnworth. Long time no see. Forgive me, I can't quite place you, Mr... Reaper. Tobias Reaper. We used to work for the same company. They... went under. Ah, yes. A shame what happened. But nothing lasts forever, I suppose. Oh, but where are my manners? This is my colleague, Tamara Vidal. Miss Vidal? What brings you to Argentina, Reaper? Are you one of Don Yates' clients? Client? No. I'm more of a service provider. Right. Well, it was lovely to see you again, Tobias. Now, if you'll excuse us, Tamara and I need to... mingle. Of course. Hey see there. Around. Tobias, this is really not the best time to catch up. What are we doing here, Dexy? Monumental records are longtime clients of Morgan Yates and Co. I thought we'd come show Don our... Why are you here, Burnwood? Didn't you know? I have tango fever. Thing is, nobody held a gun to your head. Why did you take his offer? It was time for a change. I'll say. Learning the truth about your partner. Harsh. Did you see? I've read your ICA profile. All those years, you never took a contract for money or glory. Only to serve your personal brand of vigilante justice. Targeting those who rise above the law, except for yourself, of course. But hey, everyone's a hypocrite. Still, makes you wonder. I was wasting my potential. I did garbage duty for 30 years, and where did it get me? You've certainly kept the world's coroners on their toes. Edwards is right. Power never dies. It only changes hands. And his hands, well... I figure the world could do a lot worse. You admire him. I thought resisting power was noble. But revolution is a young person's game. It's easy to tear down. Much harder to build. I figure I can be Edward's conscience. God knows I have the practice. Hmm. Did I pass your test? It was hardly the Pledge of Allegiance, but... It's the best I could expect from a free-thinking radical. Hold on, let me get a glass of wine. Don't let me stop you. What? What? No way. And for what I got, it seems to be an accident. Yeah, pretty sure. Huh? All right, out. No, no way. What? Oh, no. Oh, you are messed up. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go get help.
It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand's neurotoxin. Transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. <laughs>